what was so much fun drawing cupcakes the other day that I think now we're gonna draw Pete the cat and we're gonna draw a couple of his cupcakes. Now, when we draw an art, we wanna fill up the whole paper because big is better. No itsy bitsy teeny weeny little cat. We want a big cat with a big face. So the first thing I want you to do is take your piece of paper and we're gonna hold it vertically. Vertical is up and down. Remember, horizontal side to side, but vertical is up and down. And we're gonna fill up this paper. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do Pete's eyes. Now his eyes are the shape of a football. So in the center of your paper, give me two big footballs. Try to make them the same size. Mine are not quite the same size, but that's okay. If I had a pencil, I would fix it. But go ahead and draw me two footballs. Now, after you draw the footballs, I want you to put a triangle in it. And then a little triangle inside of that. And a triangle in this one. And a little triangle in that one. You don't have to color yours in yet. I'm just coloring mine because otherwise he looks kind of weird. Now we're gonna do a triangle for his nose. So in between his eyes, but a little bit below, we're gonna do an upside down triangle and that gives us his nose. Now we need the rest of his head, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go above his eyes from like the middle of this eye to the middle of this eye. We're gonna give him the top of his head. Could you give him the top of his head? Now we're gonna do his ears. They're gonna go up like a triangle and come straight down by his nose. So go up like the beginning of a triangle and come down. And those will be his ears. Then we're going to go here and we're going to curve down here for the bottom of his head. Now, before we finish the rest of Pete's body, we want to draw the tray that he's going to hold. So down here, draw a horizontal line that goes almost to the edge of the paper. Then we're gonna do two diagonal lines. We're gonna go from here off the edge of the paper and from here off the edge of the paper. And that's gonna be his tray that he's holding. Now we know where to put the rest of his body. So I want you to go down like this from his neck down, just two parallel lines, just one line and another line. And that's gonna be his body. And now we need his arms. So we're gonna take here and go around to the side and come back around. It's one arm. And then the same on this side down. So his little paws holding on to the tray and back around. And that's basically Pete. Now cats have whiskers. And whiskers help them feel things that are outside their head. So like if a cat puts his head in the hole, he'll know if he can get his body in there because his whiskers are as white as his body. And if it hits his whiskers, then he knows he might get stuck in there. So there's his whiskers. You could do three or four on each side, whatever you'd like. Now we're gonna draw some cupcakes here on the bottom. Remember how we drew cupcakes the other day? So draw a line on the bottom and go up and go up and then you could zigzag and that's the cup to your cupcake and now draw the top part and you could put a cherry on it or a heart remember the different cupcakes we did and then over here we're going to draw another cupcake you could draw two or three cupcakes draw a bottom the side, the side. Remember your lines could go this way if you wanted. The top of the cupcake. And I'm gonna draw one more. Here's the bottom, the sides. I like the zigzag cups. 
That one has a lot of icing and some cool sprinkles on it. And this one has some sprinkles too, otherwise it looks too boring. Now, if you want to draw the faces to your cupcakes again, you could always draw some faces or you could leave your cupcakes blank. However you would like to do your cupcakes. So now we have Pete the Cat and we have a couple of cupcakes. Now, when you look at Pete the Cat, Pete the Cat is blue. His eyes are yellow. But other than that, the coloring is up to you. You could do your cupcakes any color you want. You could add some coloring to the background. Whatever you would like for your Pete the Cat. I can't wait to see them.